Alright, here we go. Aqua Shark Challenge. I'm here on Lando Lakes and uh, found a lake. This is the exact same lake that I took the pictures in before um, that had two Aqua Sharks in it. And they should be here. I just landed. I was at a different lake. And um, <laughs> look at the shadow of the dinosaur there in the water. That's cool. Um, I was at a different lake. It was actually a much bigger lake, and I was hoping there would be three sharks in that lake, but uh, I didn't find any, and it wasn't as deep as this one here. So it seems like um, this is the deepest lake I could find. There's an aqua shark now, right over there. So I'm going to um, step out of the water for one second here and just... Uh, charge up my hazard protections make sure we're all good to go sure don't really need that but um, yeah so here we go um, love just to rely on the timer for the YouTube video I guess and uh, I'm going in Um, I'll also note here that I'm on PC. I've removed all my mods. This is totally vanilla here. And, um... Where'd the sharks go? I'm also playing with an Xbox One controller. So I should be on uh, relatively equal footing with the PS4 crew. Uh, since I'm not using mouse and keyboard. I think mouse and keyboard might give a little advantage in terms of dodging. Maybe not. <coughs> so there are two sharks in this lake. We saw one just a little bit ago. Ah, yes. <laughs> there he is. And there's his friend. Um, so that's one point. That's two points. Uh, this is actually the first time I've attempted this without the um, movement speed mod, which makes you move a little quicker. So this is probably going to be more challenging than what I'm used to. Looks like I lost one of them. This guy is still on my tail. These are pretty cool predators. It's a good choice. Um, I like the six fin tail. Not going to stop for photo mode now, but um, it's a pretty neat looking tail they has. Oh, I think there are three in this lake. There's one. There was a second one over there. And now I see another one over here. So I think there are three sharks, unless that one that was behind me swam all the way over there really fast. Uh oh. Alright, so far so good. And, um, for whatever reason, the control mappings don't allow me to actually use the jetpack underwater. I have to actually breach the surface to use jetpack. Um,. I think it's the way I've mapped it. Boy, this guy is not not letting up, is he? Why does it feel like I'm moving slower all of a sudden? Oh boy. Alright, so we've definitely got two. Let's head this way and see if a third one shows up. <clears throat> I traveled back from the um, Isentam Galaxy just for this contest. We lost the second shark. I was in Isentam after completing the main storyline, but uh, I used the save editor to warp myself back to Euclid. 
and here to the Amino Hub, which is the first time I've been in the Amino Hub. I was in the Galactic Hub um, before I completed the storyline. Oh, I've got two again. I'm going to let them stay a little closer. I'm going to see if I can get three. Currently, there's nothing over here. Alright, so we're going to have to dodge them. We'll see how this goes. Oh! Alright, hot on my tail. He has protection, it's running low. I should have got more titanium before I attempted this. We'll see how that plays out. So two. And yeah, still two. Stay with me. So far, so good. There goes the sentinel. Is there a third one over here? It'd be pretty cool if I could get three. I just have to keep these two interested. Can't see very far in this water. still in pursuit. <coughs> so yeah, now that I'm here in the um, Amino Hub, I'm going to do some exploring and uh, check out some of the landmarks, popular places from the Amino crew. They're getting close. Hazard protection ran out again. I am totally going to run out of titanium. I think my ship has some. I could probably transfer from my ship. Well, that looks pretty cool. Be careful not to step out of the lake here. Well, so there's... He lost interest and he's going back to the other side of the lake. Oh, no, he changed his mind. <coughs> he's swimming away, but I saw the predator icon. Usually I thought the predator icon means that it's following you. go. He's way over there. So yeah, I think this lake just has two. Oh! <laughs> there's, a, there's another point. just two sharks in this lake. These have iron in them? Yeah, they do. Okay. Two point four meters long, or h height, I guess. One hundred and fifty-one kilograms. These two sharks weigh exactly the same. 
0.36. I guess that means they're fully grown to very precise proportions. Charm. <clears throat> uh oh. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to swim over closer to my ship and see if I can get some titanium. Can you sp can't sprint underwater. Okay, just one shark. For now. We're going to lose him. Go back to the side of the lake. Normally when I play, I have um, mods on that turn off the vignette and the chromatic aberration. I really didn't like them, but I'm kind of actually enjoying that look right now. Ah, I've lost them temporarily. Okay, so let's see here. Starship. Titanium. Transfer to exosuit. Oh, it's out of range? It's not far away. It's right there. Good thing I'm underwater. Alright, still in the lake. No sharks can see me. Starship. I'm going to give myself some titanium. That should be plenty. And continuing the shark challenge. Boy, this could probably go on for a while from the feel of that initial encounter there. I thought that it would be hard to outpace them with the movement mods turned off. But uh, looks like as long as you keep backing up, you can get away from those sharks. kind of wish they'd fix this behavior here, how the fish all swim into the ground and then if you chase them they just go up on the shore like that. It's uh, not the greatest fish AI. Why is everything always run away from me in general? Am I, am I really that scary? These are the questions that keep No Man's Sky players up at night. Okay, where did the sharks go? There they are. So I suppose if I want to have a good showing, I probably need to get bitten a lot more than I have so far. So I guess that means just go right at them. Oh yeah. And I think if I sit still, yeah, he just swims around me. I was commenting on Reddit that I think there should maybe be a rule against this, because I'm, I'm turning around and around, and he's just swimming around me in circles here. And as long as I stand still, he just keeps doing that. Another uh, fish AI behavior in need of adjustment. If you're out there, Hell Games. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to move. We're going to keep it interesting. Oh, yeah. Um, where does Buddy go? Can I sidestep it? No, cannot. Alright, I better be careful now. That was a few hits in a row. He's still hot on my tail. Oh yeah, I just outsmarted him right there. Oh. Spoke too soon. kind of lost my bearings in the lake now as to where I am. Okay, there's my spaceship. Ah! I head this way. Here 
Here comes the other one. Dual sharks. Oh. Ah. I almost ah. I almost went right between them. I should see if it's possible to pull off uh, a tricky maneuver like that. Oh, that health bar is getting pretty low there. Um better be careful right now. I do like about No Man's Sky that there is no way to actually recharge your health. That makes an encounter like this more interesting. There are... Oh boy! Um, but unless you're near a building, which obviously in the ocean you're not, um, there's no way to just quickly gain a bunch of health back. In fact, it's quite slow. I think that I have some good suit upgrades. Oh, that's a cool rock. Oh boy. That was dangerous. It still is dangerous. Oh boy. I am the greatest shark survivalist on PC. Can I turn on my flashlight? Oh, I can. That's nice. Shark survival going into the wee hours of the night. Where am I? There's the spaceship. <coughs> Why does the ground look different over here? The ground is different over here. That's the shadow of the mountain. Oh, he's still on me. Yeah, I've got different ground textures here underwater. Interesting. All right, here he comes. I've still got less than 50% health from all those other bites. Oh boy. All right, getting plenty of bites. I have not yet used the jetpack. I've just been making figure eights. <coughs> Your protection's running out again. I have to say that I really love this Xbox One X controller. Um, until I bought this off eBay, the only controllers I'd really used were PlayStation controllers, and they're good and everything. But uh, the ergonomics on this Xbox controller is really on another level compared to the PlayStation stuff. Um, it's got a rubber backing and the thumbsticks have little rubber nubs on them like teeny teeny microscopic rubber nubs. Oh, we're back to two sharks. Um, if They feel really good. You can get accessories for your PlayStation controllers that go over the thumbsticks that add this same feel and are really nice. Um, but I still think even having used those, that this Xbox controller is a little bit better. Alright, we're going to make it interesting. I'm going to go right between them. Oh, I thought I had gotten away with it. I'm going to try it again. That didn't work. Oh boy.
Double shark. If these guys were just a little bit faster, this would really be tough. He's not really even coming at me. He's following. Oh, there you go. Okay. Never mind. They do look cooler at night, don't they? I tried to find a lake that was deeper than this. But this is about as deep as I could find. I went to maybe four or five different lakes. Seems like the best one. I put a blue comm station. Blue for two. Two sharks. Think you can get me? Not this time. You've been outmaneuvered. Aqua maneuvered. I hooked up this microphone just so I could babble during this video because I thought that it would probably be really boring if there's no talking. Talking. Just really makes video game videos more interesting in general, I think. So henceforth I ramble. Alright. Be careful not to step out of the lake here. What you got? What you got? Mm -hmm. This, ah, I was just about to gloat about my maneuvering skills, and then I got chomped. Cool story. I wonder if this uh, compares one to one with the uh, PlayStation experience. If it's tougher on PlayStation or easier, or might be able to go a whole day here, at least a whole day in game. Where is the other shark gun? There's him, and then I can see the other one. There he is. So majestic. Health is getting back pretty high again. I think it's time to take some shark bites. Or can I... Oh, I outwitted him. Now he's stuck just circling me. <coughs> Alright, so that's no fun. I'm just going to keep moving. Oh! Look at that, $50,000 for scanning plants. I gotta say, um, one of the best things, in my opinion, that these updates have brought are monetary rewards for the scanning. That is a fantastic addition to the gameplay and rewards people for being out and exploring the universe. That's totally what No Man's Sky should be all about, not sitting in your stupid base and farming and waiting. I like to be out doing stuff, not just waiting around for plants to grow. That's not what got me interested in the gameplay of No Man's Sky when I first learned about it. <coughs> so, little soapbox right there. 
And uh, it's excellent that they added those scanner rewards. Like that. I guess minerals still don't give you any money. But uh, plants do. Like that. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, I'm getting chomped. <coughs> the tails on these sharks are really neat. And the scales, for that matter. Oh, it must be morning. The flashlight just went off. Yeah, I hope that Hello Games will continue to reward exploration, incentivize exploration in future updates, perhaps with uh, even more creature um, scanning capability. So like, uh, if you scan a sentinel, I don't know, is there one around? I've seen a few of them. If you scan a sentinel, it tells you its behavior, what it's currently doing. It'd be pretty neat if you could also scan, like, this shark, and it would tell me that it's, uh, stalking a traveler or something along those lines, and you'd get rewarded for for discovering it, what its behavior is, and then keep getting more rewards for discovering different behaviors. Oh! Maybe... Yikes, that was a one-two punch. Um... Got me on the weak side. Uh-oh. I'm in a bad spot now. Alright, we're just gonna escape for a little bit. Yeah, these sharks should be a little bit faster. If they could catch me right now, this whole thing would be, I think, a bit more interesting than it is. So, faster predators that can outrun you would be an improvement. be an upgrade to the combat. And maybe different ways of recharging your hazard protection. Like, I'm just uh, dumping titanium into this here right now. Maybe if you had to have something else, or if there was maybe even a special mechanic for recharging hazard protection could be pretty interesting. Like, something that would make it tough for me to do right now while I'm simultaneously evading these sharks. I guess this planet used to be lush. Artemic W said. This, uh, I bet this would have been a pretty cool world if it was lush. I was exploring on it earlier and I saw a seven, me seven meter tall creature. That was pretty cool. All right, getting getting too much health here. Let's let's keep it interesting. Oh, I'm faking you all out. Evasive maneuvers. Look at that. That was pretty cool. Oh man. Ooh, getting interesting now. All right, I'm gonna see if I can survive for an entire day entire in-game day, which it looks like I'm almost there. And then, uh, once I've done that, I think I'm just gonna kinda start getting reckless and see what happens. There is a mod on PC, uh, that, um, Increases sea life. I think sea life is the name of the mod. I usually play with that on. Um, it's pretty interesting. It just adds a bunch more extra creature types that appear underwater. Um, so instead of just you know those fish over there, and then uh, the little squid-looking ones that we saw earlier, you'd have you know five different kinds of fish in one lake or something like that. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> the oceans are still a little bit of a blank slate in terms of the possibility. People keep bringing up Subnautica and all the different gameplay elements that Subnautica has. What if you could combine 
combine Subnautica into No Man's Sky, they'd make a really interesting game because you could spend a long amount of time underwater just kind of enjoying the depths and exploring and if there was interesting stuff to find down there, surprising things to find, it'd probably keep you underwater for a long time and then I imagine it would feel really cool to uh, jump out of the water after you've been there down there for a long time and then hop into your spaceship and jump into space, that'd, uh, that'd be quite a feeling, I bet. So I'm really hoping that the next update in No Man's Sky is a flora fauna update. And with that, some improvements to predator behavior. It'd be nice if uh, these two kind of could talk to each other or coordinate with each other where one would chase me in one direction and the other one would flank me or move in a different way. Because right now they just behave as, as if there's only one shark in this lake, but of course there's two sharks in this lake, so if their AI was adjusted... Oh yeah, he still got me. Because one thing is, even on survival mode, uh, I never get killed in No Man's Sky, like, ever. Um, maybe I've just played it long enough. I have played for over a combined total of 500 hours over the different modes. But once you've played that long, you kind of just have a feel for, I don't know, what's going to happen, I guess. And you never really go into a situation unprepared, but I still think that even if even if you are prepared, there should still be moments and, you know, tough spots you can get yourself into that uh, would kill even, even an advanced player, especially when it comes to survival mode. So, survival mode was, was a fantastic upgrade to the game. I still don't think it could be significantly harder than it is now. Am I gonna get bitten? Yep. Thought I'd gotten away. When I was taking pictures of these guys before, they were doing the Jaws impression with the dorsal fin above the water, but they're not doing much of that right now. Yeah. So he can do that little speed boost there, and that's how he that's how he lands his attack. He should be able to do that like right now to get closer to me, even if he can't actually reach me. All right, we're just, we're just gonna start to get risky here. Let's make it interesting. Oh yeah. Oh boy. So that's two bites in a row. Didn't have full health to begin with. It's three. What's it gonna take to get killed here? Faking him out. Let's make it four. Five. Wow, well, if you go right at him. Huh, that's pretty interesting. Just go straight for him. Didn't attack. They expect you to run away. Huh. <laughs> I, I, that's something I've actually never done. Just run straight at them before.
Now look at these cool fish. Six. Is he going to come in? What are you doing? I think they're just playing with me. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now we're getting interesting. Ten. Eleven. That was a different sound. Twelve. Thirteen. Wow. Hurting now. Fourteen. Got one. One health box left. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's a great uh, Kurt Vonnegut quote. I never see these quotes because I never ever die. Well, I j apparently I lied because that's Generation 14. So what happens when I die? It's been so long. So you lose all your stuff. You get some damaged equipment in your multi-tool. Isn't this a sweet multi-tool, by the way? I went to the, the uh, former Galactic Hub, Harburbs, to get this totally awesome experimental multi-tool. Um, all your spaceship stuff is still there. This is this is my favorite spaceship. I'm hunting these seven wing designs. Um, yeah, so then you lose all your stuff, and I guess uh, there's a grave over here, just like uh, traveler grave. Get all my stuff back. Yeah, so, didn't lose anything now. I'm gonna save that. I died in the lake. That's cool. Can we get, uh, what we need, we need a photo here. Can we get the aqua shark over here? Picture right next to the grave. Where have they gone? See them. There they are. I'm also used to playing with infinite jetpack. <laughs> it's different not to have that. Infinite jetpack is really cool because it just lets you go super high up in the air. Higher than you normally might be able to. Alright, get over here, you two. I'm gonna take a picture. Both of you, yes. We're on totally the wrong side of the lake. Okay. No predator icon this time. And my grave should still be there. Yeah, there it is. There's a predator icon. Alright, hang with me, guys. 
We're gonna get a sweet photo to commemorate this. And then I'll have to repair my uh, flora analyzer, or fauna analyzer, Theta. Not sure what that's gonna take. Oh well, it'll give me something to do. Hey, challenge is over. <coughs> I need both of you to come this way. Alright, we're gonna get them right over here. This is good. Alright. Stay with me. Don't be losing interest on me now. Come on. Aqua Shark. Don't go that way. This guy is just uh, wandering aimlessly. Okay, here we go. Back on task. Okay, this is going good. This is going to be a cool picture. Okay, come on, stay with me. Alright, things are going well. Where's the grave? Here it is. Alright. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Alright, so this is weird that the teeth go outside the mouth. I was taking pictures for the contest and uh... <laughs> yeah that's awesome. Um, here I'm gonna switch to mouse and keyboard to help make a better picture. I'm gonna make it nighttime. There we go. You did! So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I really wish that photo menu didn't pop up every single time. I guess I could just Photoshop these teeth out of there. Maybe I might do that. Let's get the sun back in a visible area. That's pretty cool. There's a commemorative shot for the Aqua Shark Challenge. Uh, I wish that menu didn't, that stupid black menu would just go away. There's my freighter. That's kind of cool. Sure. <coughs> That's a good one, too. Now I wish I had the Megalith mod going because it puts all these giant cool structures around the landscape. Let's see if I can get uh, one of those just at the water level shots. I like these above and below water shots. These would be pretty awesome sometimes. This one doesn't want to cooperate. Guess that'll have to work. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, that's cool. Go away, menu. Right there. Yeah, that's what I was going for. That's a good one. Alright, so I think that's probably my Aqua Shark Survival Challenge run right there. I bet you somebody could beat that if you wanted to just hang out long enough and run in circles. Um, the tails on these sharks are really awesome. Six fins. It's really neat. And then this seashell scale pattern. It's also really cool. Yeah. So this is a great um, planet selection, I think. Good choice of predator.
think a land predator would be easier to get away from. Kind of, it's tougher when you're in the water. Although, I think it could be a lot tougher still. Um, kind of as I was saying, this game needs more challenge. Hello Games just uh, underestimates us, man. We've been playing video games for so long. We're so good at this stuff. This needs to be hard. Really hard. So, thank you to the Amino Hub guys for organizing this contest. This was a cool excuse to travel back to the Euclid Galaxy. I think I might go back to... Um, well, no. I'm going to explore the Amino Hub for a while. See what's around this area. And then maybe, maybe once that's done, I'll go back to the Galactic Hub again. It's a good place to find things. As, although, as you can see, I've already got a super sweet multi-tool and a fleet of super sweet ships. My freighter is full of them as well. Uh, I don't have an exotic, but honestly, I prefer the designs of the original anyway. I think the original ships are cooler than the exotic ships are, personally. Alright, I'm gonna try for one more picture here. You need to make it nighttime though. Not quite that dark. I really wish the teeth didn't come outside the mouth like that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope it was entertaining and some of my babbling was interesting. Um, Hello Games, if you're out there watching this, uh, thank you for an incredibly great game. This is one of the best games I've ever played, just purely for the exploration. And I hope that uh, whatever comes next in the forthcoming updates is exploration centric wildlife flora fauna centric you know the worlds are, are what make this game they really are um, and make it harder make it make it tougher we need more of a challenge anyway thank you for watching I am microcosmologist alt f9 out